Okay, now I'm continuing the recording. Uh, as you can see, okay, um, it's a 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo, manufactured in '96, and uh, this is the information about the engine. Okay, you can go over this information here to find out more about different uh, stuff in your engine and different parts where they're located. However, um, this is the fuse box right here. I check all my fuses. Okay, in the fuse box, uh, you could see it shows you exactly how the fuse are, are set up. If you can see that, you see you have the fuel pump relay, you have the starter, you have wiper, you have the horn transmission. Okay, this is all in the cover. It gives you a guide of where to look when you're looking for a fuse. Okay, and on this side of it, it are the fuses. Okay, the way how you check it, if you, you, you look at this cover like this, okay, it's aligned with the fuses, okay, like this, okay, so, alright, there you go, better view, you see the fuel pump, okay, on top there is the fuel pump relay, that's this one right here, okay, this is the fuel pump relay, and here it says fuel pump, so it gives you a guide, okay, um, and, and these are the fuses right here if you look here in the box on this side here it says uh let me zoom in closer it says uh 20 20 a okay you move over here you see there is 20 a right there so c20 50 look in the box you will see look real clearly 20, 50, okay, so I check all my fuses, I check all the relays, everything, I went through the wire harness, I checked my computer, this is the computer here in the back, right beside, right behind the, the reservoir, the coolant uh, reservoir, okay, uh, let me try to get a better view, I'm, I'm not getting a good view, What? I'm a bad camera guy, see that's my hand, okay, that's the computer right there. See, and you have these three connections. One, this one here, okay, this one, the, the one in the middle that you see, the white, okay, and the other one, it's gray. Okay, these are the three connectors that connects to the computer that tells us everything. Okay, this is the distributor cap with the wires, all the coils and everything. I change the coil. I have a brand new coil down there. I don't know if you could see as it's kind of dark okay it's all right better yes yes this right here the ig ignition coil yeah I changed this too I bought a new one I replaced it if you notice I have new spark plug wires um, but um, right now what I'm checking is this I'm checking this right now you know the this this is the, the connection for the for the crank, crank position sensor. Okay, let me come a little closer. I'm sorry for the for the bad uh, zooming. You know, when you're videoing and doing stuff yourself, sometimes things doesn't go right. Okay, good. This is the connection right here. Okay, this is the plug that goes to the crank position sensor. However, my mechanic that I had before, see, get a better view that I had before, he said that he bought a new crank, connect, um, crank position sensor, but I don't believe him because I've been going through my car. He told me he changed my transmission oil. I I, I, I deciphered my transmission oil. It was black as hell, so I, I don't believe him. I put new transmission oil in, and I put some stop slip Lucas because the um, transmission was starting to slip. So what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, take out that crank position sensor and I will replace it with a new one, a better one. Then I'll ch also check to see if it was replaced since this is the first time I'm going to take it out the car. Okay. Uh, um, many people are saying, oh, it's kind of hard to do. It's kind of difficult. It, it's, not, it's not really. If you look, okay. Zoom too much. Let me zoom out back. Okay, 
Yes, like this right here. All right, let's move back. Yep. Perfect. Okay, here is the dipstick for my transmission. This yellow stuff right here. See, that's the transmission dipstick. Okay, and uh, the crank position sensor is right. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let's go with a better zoom in. Uh, I'm sorry, this video here. Okay, well, you get the picture. All right, you get the picture. Okay, it's right down there. Right where you see I'll push my hand. Okay? It's right here. It's bad when you have to video and do your own stuff. Okay? Right where my hand is at, I'm touching the wire for the crank position sensor. Right down there. So I'll go ahead and take that off now, I'll put a new one in, then we'll see the result. But before I go and uh, change the crank position sensor, uh, the door is kind of stuck too. Let me give you a feeling of how the car sounds right now. My battery is kind of going low because I was trying to start and start the car, but uh, it's a no, no joy. Okay. So, you see, that's my instrument panel right there. Okay. The RPM and everything. Let me see if I could uh, get it better. Okay. All right, now I'm about to start this car for you to hear. Battery is not too strong. We have gas. Uh, let's see. See, that's what's happening. So I'm going to change the crank position sensor, and we'll take it from there. Good. Battery sounds good. It's uh, getting fire and everything. I check all that already, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and change the crank position sensor and start this bad boy up and uh, I'll shoot another video when it's running. Alright, um, to change the crank position sensor I have my tools um, which I'll take out right now. Okay, I'm in my garage. My car is a bit junky but how it goes when you, you are your own mechanic and you're fixing stuff yourself. This is my bag right here. All my tools, cloth, the right white stuff. All my tools, all my tools up in here. See how my, all my tools, all my rubber tools. And uh, we will need a, enough of these. Like, uh, how about two? I have a, long, a longer one. This one is about half. Half a foot. Next one is about six to eight inches. The other one I have is very long. Uh, so it reach all the way up there. Okay. You need your your socket set. Let me get my socket ready. Okay. But I'll just put aside the tools that you need. And you need that. This. Okay. Uh, That's all the extensions that you can get, you try to get this, I have a, I also have a swivel, I think it's an 11 millimeter, so I'm going to find an 11 millimeter socket, okay, you're going to need a swivel, this right here. Cool. Put that there. Ok. 
Okay. And uh, we're gonna need like an, an 11 millimeter. Uh, this one is a 13. We need an 11. Okay. This one is a 10, but I'm gonna put it aside. I'm not gonna rule it out. It might be a 10. Okay, well, mainly I'm looking for 11 uh, measuring tape because I just did a wheel alignment and I had to measure up uh, um, my wheels to make sure they were straight. Okay, let me see what size is this. This is a half, I don't think this will fit. I'll just move an 11 and we'll be good to go. Okay, as soon as I get all the tools together, I'm going to shoot another video and show you. I'm coming for my long ratchet. It's right in here, hiding somewhere. Junky car, huh? When you're working on cars, this is what it looks like sometimes until when you're done, you get everything right. Okay, I'll find that socket and i get back to you.